Alrighty, let's get started. This is the um, this is a fairly straightforward lesson. We're gonna go fairly quickly. Um, what you're doing here is we're introducing the concept of a list. Okay, and a list you can have an unordered list, um, which is like bullets, which is something like what we're looking at right here. Right, it shows bullets. Or you can have an ordered list, which is something like one, two, three. Here's an example of one, two. That's an ordered list. Um, and then for every list, you're going to have what's called a list item. And this is a list item for this list, for a bulleted list or an unordered list. And then this is a list item for an ordered list. So that's what we're gonna create. Very straightforward. Uh, let's go here. And the way we create an, an un, let's start with an ordered list first, okay? The way we create an ordered list is by putting in the tag OL and then put the end OL. That tells the browser that you're gonna create an unordered list, I'm sorry, an ordered list. And then what you do is you put in a LI, an end LI, and that lets the, the browser know that you're gonna have a list item. And that's gonna be whatever, in this case, it'll be a one, two, three, and then an unordered list, it'll be a bullet, all right? So let's just say things I like, or let's say uh, presidents, uh, George Washington, and then I'm going to come in here and copy it. Now remember what I did is I created my beginning and end tags just so that they're right there. So I copy that and I'm going to say next one is John Adams. And then I'm going to copy it again. And the next one is going to be Thomas Jefferson. Okay. So if I click show web page, that'll show up as a ordered list and it's going to go in the order that I want. Now, but what if I wanted to do an unordered list? Well, very straightforward. I'm going to copy the entire thing. I'm going to give myself some space down here, and I'm going to create a unordered list by just changing this to UL. U stands for unordered. Okay, and then I'm going to call this something that's not in order. Colors, blue, red, and green. Okay. Now, what you'll notice is I didn't have to put any line breaks in here, and I didn't have to put any line breaks after my items because that's what the list item does. It, it knows that you want to put this in a list, so it creates its own line breaks through the list items. All right, so let's show web page. Works exactly the way I want. I have my ordered list to start and then my unordered list, and that's the basics of this lesson. If you, are, uh, if you need help, Remember that when you go to the Try It Yourself section, you have your helps and hints, and you can always go back and click on either of these to see exactly what you need to do there. All right, so what you wanna do is minimize this, uh, click Try It Yourself, and get started with assignment for lesson number, this should be lesson number five.